Good evening to all. This is Madhu M G, working as a lecturer in Government Polytechnic, Udupi. Today we will discuss how to make knuckle joint parts parts two model in Solid Edge two thousand twenty one software. After that we can learn these models to assembly, and finally drafting for this. assembly so this is the knuckle joint details drawing here we have five parts so the part 1 is fork and part 2 is eye and part 3 is knuckle pin part 4 is collar and part 5 is taper pin so this is the part 1 that is fork detail drawing here the given front view and corresponding top view of the fork or double eye part so similarly they given single eye part front view top view so the third part is collar pin or sorry knuckle pin so here they mention a front view as well as the top view so same thing in collar also they given front view and top view so coming to the taper pin they given front view and right side view so here five parts are given with detail dimensions so and all, also they mention all unmentioned fillet and rounds radius should be 3 mm wherever is not not mentioned the radius fillet and round radius we can assume that is 3 mm and all dimension here should be in mm so let's start one by one in solid edge 2021 software so this is the solid edge 2021 software first we go for new and then again new so here we will go for isometric part model so now i am starting with part 1 so i am switch on the planes so first i will go for the fork so here i will go for the revolve command so i will select front plane so it will automatically go for sketch mode so in the sketch i will select line command and and start from here the distance is the diameter dimension 25 so i may i will take it at half of that one that is 12.5 12.5 so and then i'll go for thickness is 17.5 so and then dwell length is 30 mm and again the second i thickness is 17.5 mm so this is the diameter of 25 diameter again we go for the 50 diameter so 50 minus 25 it is 25 25 by 2 it is 12.5 again the 12.5 so same distance is 17.5 so again same dis dwell distance is 30 so again thickness is 17.5 so now we want to delete unwanted lines by using trim command i don't want this line and as well as this dwell dwell lines 
so I will make close the sections so this is the exact section I want so I will make axis of revolution this is compulsory for revolve command so I will make this as the axis for revolution so I will close the sketch so now I will give the angle of revolution that is 360 degree so I will finish my revolve command so then I will go for extrude I will select the same front plane now I will draw a circle of diameter 30 so I will take the dimensions from here to circle diameter it is 30 mm and from here to sorry I will take dimension from here to here this is 30 by 2 plus 17.5 that is 32.5 mm so and this diameter is 30 so on this dimension this dimension is 30 mm so this is our circle so once one more circle we need to add the diameter is 60 mm radius is 30 to make 60 as the diameter so now we'll take a line from here the distance is 125 minus 30 125 minus 30 mm and again 30 mm again 125 minus 30 mm so we'll end here And again I will take the line starting here so I will end the line here so same thing we will be doing bottom side also start from here So now I will remove unwanted lines. I will trim the unwanted lines. So, so the required profile like this. So we can make fillet here also. Otherwise we close the sketch and the, make the fillet in the main window also. So I will now, now I will close the sketch. So the thickness of is 30 mm so I will give thickness 30 and finish the sketch. So I will take the round command select this edge and the radius is 24 mm and the same thing in bottom side also. So and this side also is 24 mm so wherever is necessary everywhere you make it a round command or fillet command
so now we need to inscribe a octagon in a square so this is the square face we need to inscribe a octagon octagon inscribed in this square so select cut option select this space so go for rectangular here we can find out polygon by center select that one and the side should be 8 and distance we don't know the distance so just make it and mention distance as 10 and click like this so after that we need to find out this distance octagon distance so that that we can find out by using the formula so this is the formula for find out the octagon distance that is the a we need to find out we know l we know l we need to find out a so the formula is there a plus root of 2 into a is equal to l that is the formula for octagon inscribed in a square so there we need to find out what is a so l is here that 30 mm so by calculating the by using this formula we can calculate a a is equal to 12.43 so, so same thing i can apply in here so go for dimension this length should be 12.43 and this distance should be 0 so this is the octagon again we need to draw a circle from same center point so it is more than this circle more than this diameter there is no need of exact dimension just we need to keep it more than this dimension so then go for close sketch so we know the depth that is 37.5 37.5 click it and finish it so this is our octagon inscribed in the square so here they mentioned fillet so yeah, wherever it is not mentioned unmentioned the fillets and radius rounds the radius is 3 mm so i will make it as fillet for here 3 mm so same thing in the four sides also preview and finish it so finally we need to make it as shaft here so go for extrude command select the surface draw a circle of diameter 25 so go for the dimension so this is exactly 15 close sketch so the length it may be appropriate they not mentioned the length of this shaft we can take appropriate length so then go for round command select this one it is 24 here also 24 here also 24 and here also 24 so this is our final product of fork or double eye part so we can make it this one for different colors so when we are get going for assembly that time we can't recognize so it making different colors it is very easy to make assembly so i will go for red color so 
So we'll go for the dark red. So this is our four k. Just save it this particular folder. So go for save. I'll make it inside new folder that is knuckle join. joint fork the name is fork I'll save it so I will go for second part same thing new new go for part So this is our second part. I'll go for I. So here they make given front view as well as the top view. So I'll go for top view and extrude command. Extrude command top view. Extrude top view. We'll draw a circle of diameter. 25 and one more circle of diameter 50 and I will go for line command start from here the length is 15 and the horizontal length is 100 mm and again 30 and end here so now I remove the unwanted lines by using trim command I don't want this and this also and this and this line also I don't want just remove it so go, go to this close sketch and extrude up to 30 mm finish so go for round command select this edge so the radius is 24 Finish it. So here also we need to octagon should be inscribed in the square. So just go for cut option, select this one, and here go for polygon by center. Select the center and draw a polygon. Go for smart dimension, select this dimension. This dimension should be 12.43 so and go for distance this distance and this distance should be 0 so this is our octagon just insert one more circle the diameter should be more than the stamp so just go for close sketch It's the length is depth is uh, 37.5 37.5 finish so and then we need to uh, add a shaft go for extrude select this point and go for circle select the center point the diameter is 25 So take appropriate length and end this command. So go to round command. So select this edge. The radius is 3 mm. Preview and finish it. 
so finally we finish the second part also just go for view part painter select the color so i'll select the violet color so make it as save so i will save the name as i then go for the third part that is knuckle pin we need to make it as knuckle pin for this i will take front view with revolve command front view with revolve command same file new new iso metric part So I'll go for revolve command front view. So here yeah, I will go for line command. So the distance is diameter 38. 38 divided by 2. So 19 mm. And thickness they given mentioned as 10. and from this side so pin diameter is 25 collar edge diameter is 38 38 minus 25 it is 13 13 by 2 6.5 so the total height is 82 mm Again, 25. Sorry, it is not 25, 12.5. So, this is our sketch. So, for revolve, revolve command, we need to make it as axis of revolution. So, this line, I will make it as axis of revolution. showing some mistakes so once again I'll make it this has to be axis of revolution so need to give 360 degree. Just click it and finish. So the important thing is we need to make tapered wall here so that we need to create a new plane. So go for here more planes that parallel plane select the front plane front plane. So the distance is 25 divided by 2, that is 12.5. So go for hole, select the new plane, and then go for hole option. In the hole option, we'll go for tapered hole, and we know the major diameter, so select this one. That major diameter is 5 mm. So I'll make it as pi and the radius they mention ratio is mentioned 1 is to 50. So I'll make it as 1 is to 50. The depth we know that is 25 mm. Okay. And click here. And we know the distance from year to year also. So go for dimensions. From year to year distance is 11.5. So close sketch, click, so finish, so you will get a tapered hole, so go for view, part painter, make it as yellow color, so go to save, save the command, name is 
spin. So the next part, go to fourth part. Here I will take top view with extrude command. So top view with extrude command. New, new, same part model. I will go to extrude command top plane. Now I will draw a circle of diameter 25 and again uh, one more circle diameter 38 for the same center point. Close sketch. The thickness is 10 mm. So here also we need to make an hole tapered hole so that we need to create a plane. We'll go for parallel plane from the right. So 38 divided by 2 that is 19. For 19 mm create a new plane so then go for whole command select that plane dry go for whole option go for taper so we know the major diameter the major diameter is 6 mm and the ratio is 1 is to 50 and whole depth is 38 mm. So go to close sketch. Finish. So here tapered hole is created. So same thing weave part painter U1 color. So make it save the name as color so we need to create a last part the name is tapered pin for this I will select front view with revolved section front view with revolved section file new my asymmetric part. So I will go revolve command front plane. So I will go for the line command. So the distance may be given 6.5, 6.5 by 2. Six point five by two, and from here to the distance they mentioned forty four. And this diameter we don't know that we need to calculate by using the taper option. So this is 6.5 and taper they mention 1 is to 50 so it should be 5.62 this diameter is 5.62 need, need to calculate by using the taper option. So this is 5.62 by 2. So join from here to this side. So we are, here we selected revolve option so must and should we need to give axis of revolution. This line I make it as axis of revolution. So go for close sketch. So it will create a tapered print. Give 360 degree. It will create a tapered pin. So make it round for 1 mm. 
and this side and this side also. So same thing go for view part painter give the color give wood color so make it save as save name given as tapered pin so now all the parts are created So just we need to make it as an assembly. So all five parts are clear created. So now we need to make assembly. So the I will join with fork and then we need to insert a pin after that make it color and insert taper pin. So then we will get the knuckle joint assembly for this. We need to go for new, new. Here we need to go for ISO metric assembly. So here assembly mode will open. Just click on the planes. So go for insert command, insert component. So here go for where you saved the your part models. So I saved in the desktop. The name folder name is knuckle joint. Here I may taken as this. So just click on the preview will come here. So the first part is fork. Just to drag it or double click the model. So it will come like this. So we fixed here. So then go for the second part. The second part is I. Just drag here. So here the relationship are there. Just go for some relationship. Now I will go for flash fit. Just it, it will default. So default is also enough for me. So this this surface should be made with this surface. And second relationship I will go for axial alignment. For this axis align with this axis. This is the assembly mode. So then I will go for the pin. Go for pin. So now I will go for the flash bit. First I will make it as axial align. For this axis axially align with this axis. So then I will go for the mate option. This surface mate with this surface. So the next thing is collar. For collar, I will go for axial alignment. This axis axially align with this axis. So it is inside, just I unite the option, I will unite this one. So make it mate option. This surface should mate with this surface. And also I will go for axial alignment. This axis axially align with this axis. So and unite the this one. So on the last part is tapered pin. Go for tapered pin. Go for axial alignment. Select this axis and select this axis. And then go for mate option. Select this space and select this. So the distance should be minus 22. Why? Because so the total length is 44. The, ex the taper pin exactly taper pin center exactly match with 
plane. That center plane is front plane. So I will select front plane. So it is exactly match with center. So it is finally we completed the assembly. So like that we need to complete the assembly. Then we go for the drafting mode. Just save this one and go for drafting mode. New, new. So go for ISO metric draft. Here go for V wizard and select where we saved the drawing. So here I need to select the front plane. That is the front view. This is our front view. This is our top view. This is our pictorial view. This is our left side view. So make some important dimensions and here make it as auto center line I'll select the auto center line for this for this for this also so make it as some auto centers line and make some important dimensions wherever the dimension is necessary just make it from here to here so 100 mm so same thing wherever it is necessary you just mention so I'll go for small dimension here here the diameter we need to mention so that we need to add the suffix. So we need to add the prefix. So select diameter symbol and apply. Select this one. Go for a prefix, add the diameter symbol and apply. Okay. So now we will get diameter symbol same thing you add everywhere just important dimension wherever is necessary just add the important dimensions so here also we need the dimension just go for small dimension and add this one this diameter 25 and this diameter 38 so like that wherever it is necessary just add it and go for the text command just mention here front view so that make the font size is more this is front view so here top view and this one is left side view and here all dimension in mm just mention your name and register number go for the printout get the printout so we will finish your work so if it's any doubt you can ask me so thank you for watching